All right, welcome back to SoulFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Hi, <laughs> listen. Remember, I know. Remember, I told you first. You see, my source, my source. I won't say if it's a he or a she. For those of you who have been paying attention, you would know that part already. Medos how we for here from my sauce, right? No, me not even say source, my sauce. Medos how we for here from my sauce, right? No, because the thing does get real. Everything I have told you so far is going to happen has happened. And I'm sticking to my source. People on a wait. Because I have some voice note on them thing there that you need to hear. But I have been told I am not allowed to put them out until certain things happen. And those certain things are happening. By way of the Jamaica Gleaner, just an hour ago, contract killer makes a tearful confession to the murder of Portland businessman's wife. Now we're talking about Mr. Beachy Stout, of course. A contract killer has detailed how he lured Tanya McDonald, the wife of popular Portland businessman Everton Beachy Stout McDonald, to a deserted roadway in the parish and watched as he subcontracted another man to stab her repeatedly. You hear that? Now, the details of how it all went down is right here. Cock your ears this way and listen. Wickedness increase, man, may I tell you. And I got questions. But I'm going to ask those questions when we get to the point. Watch this. So, the details are outlined in the home circuit court on Monday after Denvalin Minot, who is 56 years old, pled guilty to murder for his role in the July 20th, 2020 killing of this young lady. Now, Minot was today sentenced to 19 years in prison and ordered to serve 10 years before he becomes eligible for parole. People, the way this murder was carried out in such gruesome fashion, you can see why I make videos that say that Jamaica's justice system needs an overhaul. There is no way on God's earth and under God's sun, moon, and stars that a man should be able to commit this type of a heinous crime against a female even or anyone for that matter, and walk away with 19 years. But it seems like 19 years is what they gave him because that was his reward for sealing the faith, driving the nails in the coffin of Mr. Everton Beachy Stout. Him gone, people, him done. Go and listen to my videos again that I put up when my source was saying him done 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 them a full confession him done so flo we a and look at this a full confession in details now justice vivian harris who imposed the sentence calling the killing horrifying let me just stop and say something vibes talk vibes cartel got 35 years right before he is eligible for parole. Something like that. He's doing a life sentence. For a body they never found. For stuff that pretty much was made up. And. This man. Walk away with 19 years. Do the maths. Anyways. Back to the story. Because we are getting into the full confessions of the details. And again. And the details of the full confession. And again. I am taking this directly from Jamaica Gleaner right now. Now, Minot's confessions were contained in a caution statement that he made to detectives that were assigned to the major investigation division. Two weeks after the partially burnt body of the 32-year-old businesswoman was found with its throat slashed inside her car in Sherwood Forest in Portland. Remember the voice note where the girl said, "If I tell you the truth, Sasha bad, she bad, she bad, she bad, she bad, she bad." So tell, God know. The person said also, 
is only because she bad so why her body end up up there so which part it did so was she having an affair with one of these men that she trusted him so much for drive out her car go pick him up and i carry him go, go somewhere was that the case and beach found out and he contracted him as one of the men who were actually having a relationship with her for kill her but listen to the story the man made the confession in the presence of two justices of the peace so it wasn't something that was made to one person somewhere around one corner and somebody is saying that when you get to the justice of the peace, you have already made this confession to some constable, some arresting officer somewhere, some questioning detective somewhere. That's a next level. Level three now is when you are before a justice of the peace. They had two justices of the peace standing there. So this man sure of what he's talking about. Everton McDonald, also known as Mr. Mac, who is 65 years old, and another man, who is Asha Barnes, have been arrested and charged with the gruesome slaying. Now, Minot, in his caution statement, which was cited in court by prosecutors, claims that he was contracted by Everton McDonald to kill Tanya. Now, of course, I respect that Jamaica Gleaner has to say claims that he was contracted because we're dealing with the legalities of things, right? But this is a confession. So he confessed that he was being contracted. But we don't know if he's telling the truth or not. Is that what they are saying? From a legal standpoint, a confession the man I make. He might tell the truth. There is no other business with the law that brought him here except for this case and what happened to this young lady. Now, he said that the arrangement was that a payment of $3 million would be made for the killing of, Mr. Ma of Mistress MacDonald. One prosecutor disclosed, citing straight from the caution statement. So the man tell them say a three million dollar you know, but that's not new news because that's been out there for a while now that it was three million dollars that was paid but this man is telling them that it was supposed to be a payment of three million dollars why some of they are firing a work out to walk out with soul case from when hmm? i work hard even i work two jobs for years and still don't have 30 grand save up a payment of $3 million would be made for the killing. Now, Minot, who is a fisherman, who I was already told that was a fisherman. So anyway, Minot, who is a fisherman, who also resides in Portland, claimed that two, that Beachy Stout gave him, listen to the people, Beachy Stout gave him clear instructions. This is in his confession in court, on paper, on record and in front of two justices of the peace the man said that Beachy Stout gave him clear instructions on how his wife should be killed he didn't want Mrs. McDonald to be shot the man said but that she was to be stabbed stab her up in her upper body and burn the body he told detectives according to prosecutors God almighty, what a wickedness. Stop. Yo, this is different from you just saying, yo, kill her. And when you don't do it, just send me the, you know, me, no, me, me love her so much, but me not even want to know how she dead. That's not one of these cases. The man calculatedly, cold-heartedly designed the way in which she was to go. Stab her up in her upper body. Hmm? And then burn the body. This is what he told detectives, according to the prosecutors. Now, Minot admitted that he gave the work to another man. He gave the work to another man because he didn't want to do the bloody part of the work. But him have this big contract that's worth $3 million. So, of course, it's easy to give a portion of that money to somebody who non do nothing with them life. I crush out weed in them hand miggle every day. Or this is how they get their money. 
right? So he gave the work to somebody else. He revealed that he was on site. He was right there when everything was happening. A him and the man do it, right? And this is the details. He revealed that on the night of July 20th, Tanya McDonald, who is the wife who was murdered, picked him up in our Toyota Axio motor car. And we thought it was a BMW all along, but that's a far another story. Picked him up in a Fiat car, right? And he indicated to her that he was going to pick up another man in Port Antonio. So I said, God, I'm going to pick up somebody else. But why did she pick him up? Where were they going? What were their plans for the evening? Somebody sent her, if you go give him a ride, um, pick him up and drive him, drop him off somewhere. Or did she have dealings with him outside of what Beachy knew about? That's how I want to get into right there. Anyhow, he revealed that on that night, July 28th, Tanya picked him up in our car and he told her where to go. Say, I'm going to pick up somebody else, right? Typical thing. All three of them traveled after she picked up the man towards Sherwood Forest where she was found. He said that when the youth asked Tanya McDonald to stop and turn around the car as we approach this three-way intersection, he said that Minot recalled stepping out of the vehicle after Tanya complied with the request. So after the man said, turn around up here, sir, and go back down, sir. Him said, Minot stepped out of the vehicle, right? Me step out of the vehicle. Where y'all go? Me afraid. You know, sister, around here, so dark, is what she said. People, we could actually quote these as her last words, right? Where y'all go? Me afraid, you know? You know, sister, around here, so dark. She's probably saying, I which part of care me come? I where y'all do up here, so? Where we y'all do up here, so? And this a dark place. You can imagine, right? Now, according to Minot, the other man got back, got out of the car as well after he got out of the car and then he got quickly back into the car. So Minot stepped out of the car and the other man jumped out too. So Minot probably said, do it now. And him jumped back into the car, right? That's how it's going. According to Minot, the other man also got out of the car quickly after he got out of the car, but he jumped right back in. So I can't say anything else but the person who is confessing, Minot, who got the job, the contract, the $3 million contract to make it work, make it happen, actually said, do it now. And he jumped back in the car to do it. He said, right there, sir? The youth grab her, you know, and grab Tanya. Grab her around the headrest. People, the headrest is the part of your seat in your car where your head rests back upon. Some vehicles, it's adjustable and you can pull it up and them thing there. So grab her around the headrest. You can imagine him grabbing her head, squeezing it backwards into the headrest for hold her steady. And them start wrestle. They were wrestling because she was fighting. She was like, what the fuck? Yep. And start fight. He said he then saw when him see it, you know, he said he then saw when the youth the stab her. And then he saw blood coming from her two sides and from her back and from her neck. So I'm stop, 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 stab her up. This is what the prosecutor revealed in court. Straight from his witness statement. Now, Minot said that the man had a bottle containing some unknown liquid. Maybe gasoline or something else that burns faster. Minot said, Minot said that after the car caught fire and he left the scene to call Everton McDonald, Beachy Stout, to tell him what had happened. The work is done, boss. We do the work. Everything good. Wow. 100 years and nothing less is what Mia said. Anyway, 
It says that the San San police reported that while the scene was being processed, and I told you guys this because there was the eyewitness that told me that he was there and he saw it, but me can't reveal a who yet. He said that Everton McDonald arrived. This is the San San police, you know, said that Everton McDonald arrived and he identified the wife's body and identified her car. Now, Minot, which is the one that is telling all this and is testifying, he apparently was racked with guilt. So I'm just break down in a tears. And he told the police everything, including his role in how this all went down. Him say, Miss Mark, trust me too much. She believe in me. And me make she go up there. This is what he said while he was crying. Listen to that. Miss Mark, trust me too much. What does that mean? That don't sound like them they have no fucky fucky sex relationship. That sound like somebody tell her if you go pick him up, right? Pick up so and so and drop him over so and so for me, please. Right? And she didn't know she was going to her death. Miss Mark. The man call her Miss Mark. When you are when you are right, girl, we have them man. Uh, you are play a side man role. You don't refer to them as Miss Mac nothing. So this is obviously somebody that he saw as Miss Mac, the wife of Mr. Mac, Mr. Beachy Stout, big man, boss man. Sophie's wife must be Miss Mac, right? Addressed with manners. In his witness statement or caution statement, he said that Miss Mac trust me too much while he was crying. Miss Mark, trust me too much. She believe in a me. And me, make she go up there. He said, through tears. Wow. 100 years and nothing less. Leave your comments in the comment section below and stay right here on SoulFlow TV because we're going to be following this close and I'm looking forward to hearing from my source sometime soon as everything he has said so far has panned out. I can't release anything else from him until I hear from him. So stay tuned because I'm here say to go get festive. All right. It's SoulFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.